in the bottom left corner of South Africa, a short drive from the capital of the Western Cape province, Cape Town. There lives an artistic prodigy that is shaking up the global art scene. It doesn't matter whether you like her art, what matters is that she clearly is an artist. With her colorful, abstract paintings. She sold an incredible artwork for 20,000 pounds. Meet Picasso. Hi, I'm Joanne Lefson, uh, founder, director of Farm Sanctuary SA here in the beautiful Winans countryside of Franschhoek in South Africa. And um, I work closely with Picasso to create amazing artworks. Sorry, can I ask if you can do that one more time? The chickens were up shiny. Okay. <laughs> As you may already be able to tell, this is the home of many animals. We rescue farm animals from industrialized farming practices or slaughterhouses. We have about uh, 200 animals here. And it's a humble sanctuary, but it's a very uh, unique and special place. And it's really just a place for them to live out their lives with empathy and compassion and for people to come and engage and interact with them and just to inspire a kind of more sustainable world for everyone. It all started because Joanne had always wanted to rescue a farm animal. Walked into, a, walked into a hog farm, spoke to the manager and basically said, listen, I, I need to acquire two pigs. And he said, right, go for it. And it was a case of literally running in the, in the dirtiest, most depressing concrete building where they keep you know, thousands of pigs literally trying to catch a pig. But that's how I managed to uh, acquire a little piglet that I would ultimately call Picasso. Once Joanne had her chosen piglet, she wanted to make her feel right at home. So when Picasso arrived at the sanctuary, I wanted to keep her entertained. So the barn had just been completed. There were some old brushes lying in the stall. And I just thought, let me, let me throw in some tennis balls, which I had, some golf balls, a soccer ball was also lying around, and these, and these dirty old brushes that were lying. And Picasso literally ate or destroyed everything that I gave her except these brushes. She kind of played with them. She was curious with them. And I just started thinking like, maybe there's something in this, you know? And it was really using some positive reinforcement and encouraging her to pick up the brush and walk towards the canvas. Um, and I can tell you, it didn't take long before, you know, it was being dipped in paint and she was dancing these brushes across the canvas. From then on, Picasso took to painting like a duck to water. So Picasso is the only one that ever paints on the canvas. So it's really up to her what she's going to paint. We usually paint early in the morning. She um, is always eager to paint, always ready to paint. And she, uh, she sets up, she has a bit of a snack, and then she walks towards the canvas. She picks up the brush always on her own accord, and then she does a couple of strokes, and then we'll have a little snack, and she comes back, and so it goes. Once the painting is finished, she always um, signs it with a nose tip which obviously makes an original Picasso. And at that stage, um, it's the only time that I actually uh, write on the canvas. I write the name and sign it and date it. And that is the finale of a original Picasso. And it wasn't long before Picasso's artwork was being noticed. And we have a loft um, apartment that's actually in the barn, so people can come and stay here. And a couple from New York had, um, had booked in for the night, and I got a phone call the next morning saying they want to speak to me. So I came over and I apologized for the mess of all the artworks lying on the floor. And they said, no, we love it. And there was one in particular, a red painting, and they said, we, we want to buy this. How much is it? And I remember thinking, OK, um, well, how much is a Picasso worth, you know? And I just basically said to them, listen, uh, please make a donation to the, uh, to the sanctuary for what you believe this painting is worth. And they made a 7,000 Rand donation. Um, I think that's about 500 pounds. And uh, that was the very first artwork that was sold. However, although Picasso's paintings had started selling, what would the art world think? Is it all a gimmick, or is it art? I'm Kato Wong. I'm an artist, art critic, and I have my own online gallery. So this is African Mask, done in 2018. What surprises me with this one is the central stripe down the middle, which looks to me like a nose. And that looks clearly like a mouth, and it's in the right place too. What I think is, you know, this, this, look, this bit looks really thought out, like she hasn't put 
these splodges anywhere else and they, they are next to the mouth. So that suggests to me that this is the energy of, of words. So I think that's quite, in, I think that position is quite interesting. So this does seem like quite a considered form. This does remind me of a lot of abstract artists. I think the, the first obvious artist that springs to mind would be Francis Bacon, because Francis Bacon spent a lot of his career depicting people and their relationships. I love that as well, the shot of Bacon. You like the Bacon? Oh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't intended. I'm not that clever. You know, this is the interesting thing about Picasso. It doesn't matter whether you like her or not. What matters is that she poses a question that challenges our assumption about the creativity uh, intelligence of not only animals but, but humans. In my opinion, again, it doesn't matter whether you like her art, what matters is that she clearly is an artist because she's absorbed in her process, she loves her work and she's energetic just like any human artist, so she's just the same. With the art world now taking note, Picasso's art has become increasingly more popular. She sold a um, incredible artwork that was called Wild and Free for £20,000. It was more about saying, wow, well, a, a painting by a non-human artist, in this case Picasso, has a lot of value and it is art and it does have a value in today's society and in the art world. I think she's an amazing uh, individual creative animal and uh, the, the fact that this little pig that would have been slaughtered at six months of age and become a, a piece of bacon sandwich that nobody would have given two seconds thought about has actually um, created artworks that have inspired people all over the world um, is, is, is amazing. I get goosebumps just talking about it and I just think she, she's so special and so extraordinary unique. I'm just, I'm, I, I'm proud of her. I have a great deal of respect for her and I'm, and I'm so grateful that we have this project that, that can inspire people to think differently about farm animals.